Hey guys, Cameron here from Pocket Lint, and one of the things that's great about OnePlus phones is the level of customization they offer. Now here's a list of things you can try with your new flagship killer. Now first up it's all to do with those buttons and as with every OnePlus phone so far you can choose whether or not you want to use the capacitive buttons. If you'd rather use the on-screen virtual buttons simply head to the settings then buttons and select to activate the navigation bar. But if you do have the capacitive buttons active you can assign custom actions to them. So you can set it to launch specific functions when you long press or double tap any of the three buttons on the front. You can also swap their order if you'd rather have the back button on the right for instance. Now like a lot of Android phones you can also set the power button to launch the camera by double pressing it. Simply head to settings then display and then press power button twice for camera. Now onto the home screen there are a couple of things you can change here. Most of the options you'll find by pressing and holding the screen and then hitting customize. Here you can choose to activate quick search or notifications access. Now with both of them active you can swipe up from anywhere to launch search or down to get your notifications from the home screen. You can also choose from three different app icon sizes and even customize the Google search bar on the top or hide it if you don't want to see it at all. You can even customize your drop down quick tiles panel. Simply drop it down as normal and then tap the pencil icon. Then you can drag any of the settings toggles around reordering them as you please. And lastly you can change the battery icon in the status bar by heading to the battery settings menu then tapping the battery icon and selecting from one of the four options. Here you can have the traditional bar, a circle, just a percentage or no battery indicator at all. Now the shelf to the left of the main home screen offers quick access to your favorite apps and contacts. But you can also add any widget here if you'd find them useful. All you have to do is press the floating action button in the right hand corner and then choose from any of the widgets in the list. Now once they're there you can rearrange them just by tapping and holding and dragging them up or down. Now moving on to the display and because it's an AMOLED display colors don't always look the way you want them to. So you can actually adjust the color temperature by sliding the color balance slider in the main display settings menu. And at night time if you want to you can switch on night mode to cut out all of the blue light and relax your eyes. And because it's AMOLED there is a dark mode which turns the entire user interface black instead of white and it's fantastically dark. You can select it in the customize menu and then choose a tint to go along with it. And lastly there are some gestures that you need to know of. Now if you go to settings and then gestures you can switch on a number of gestures that you can use on your screen in standby to launch specific functions. For instance drawing an O will launch the camera, drawing a V will launch the flashlight and there are some music skipping and pausing options too. Hopefully those have been helpful for you. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. I'll see you again soon.